you're tuning in to another webisode of Creativity is Contagious with Kimbo Daniel. You can see over here in the background that I am with an artist, and his name is Stephen Stinchcomb. He's also the owner of Turnip Seed Nurseries in Fayetteville, Georgia. He is so talented, and he has his studio open year-round. That fills in the time when the nursery is closed. He considers himself a lifelong student, so he still takes classes um, with some very influential artists, but he is a very famous artist to me in his own right. I am very proud to say that he is one of my friends, and I wanted to introduce him to you today. He happens to be working on a piece, so let's go over and talk to him. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Kimbo. How are you? I'm doing very well. What can what would you like to share with the people today? And um, that I have am about to paint your portrait, and I am practicing just getting a few skin colors ready so that I can do the very best. But I don't want to mess your portrait up by any means. Oh. Portraits are my favorite thing to paint. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing for. 15, 13 years now painting portraits. And if I thought that I could be a good portrait painter in about 10 years, but it looks like it's gonna take me about 15 years to, to get it. it. It's just a long, slow process. In addition to painting portraits, I like to paint landscapes, and I try to paint a few still lifes every once in a while. But it's, painting is a continuing education. You never master it. You just have to keep practicing and practicing and practicing. Just like playing the piano. Practice, practice, practice. Oh, I agree with you there wholeheartedly. Well, Steve, would you mind if I show some of the landscapes off in your studio? You go right ahead. I just have to let the people see what beautiful images you have created. Some of them, and you I think you've done thousands. I mean, I, I don't even know if you have a number of how many you've done. Just excuse that phone ringing in the background. Um, that's mine, so we'll just right. let that go on and I'll show a little bit of the studio. I just love it here. Steve surrounds himself with um, beautiful things in his nursery and um, wonderful inspirational things in his studio. I mean, it's just so large. I just love his room to roam in here. I'm going to just peek outside the door real quick and show. <clears throat> If you can see this, his nursery is also open to photographers that come and pay a fee to have um, to do portrait work or photography. It's it's a fabulous place, especially in the spring. But I think that without the leaves on the trees, you might be able to see the vast size. There's a pond with um, swans and and ducks, and it's just lovely out here. I call it our Giverne, um, just a, a magnificent place to be inspired. <clears throat> Steve, would you like to say anything else to, um, or, or share maybe a tip or something, something that you've learned? To learn to see, that is the most important thing that you can do about painting, I think, or life in general for that matter. Uh -huh. But you just have to learn to notice what's around you. So pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on. And then when I'm looking at a person, I just I look for things that I don't see immediately. I just keep looking and looking and looking. And eventually you'll see a lot of little bitty things that really stand out about a person. In their, not only in their physical appearance, but in their, their uh, inside in life and whatnot too. So there's a lot of things to paint in this. And finding out about it. Mm -hmm. So that's neat. You you consider the maybe not the soul, but the spirit of the the person or the subject matter. Or the subject matter. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much for being with us today and and being on our webisode. It's just really exciting to you know be around creative people like you. First time I've ever been on a webisode. <laughs> First time I've ever heard the word. Oh, very good. And, and I am honored. 
Thank well, you. you're somebody who believes in learning new words. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that real quick. Oh, I put a word for the day out every day, and it's, it's pretty fun. I put I have a chalkboard out by the highway, and when I go to the grocery store, to the post office, people will ask me, so what's the word for the day? And I say, look it up. So I what say, is today's word for the day? Uh, well, it's a pretty famous word today because today is December the 7th, but it's infamy. Okay. And used by the president after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Interesting. Very good choice then. So you want the people to look it up? Yes. Okay. I'll do that. I'll tell them to look it up. And maybe I'll just go ahead and post it on the webisode too, just in case they don't have a handy uh, dictionary. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody hooked on my word of the day, and then I'm going to start selling dictionaries next year. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Well... I just want to say thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Surround yourself with creative people, creative people because you will be the one that benefits. It is just so neat to look and see what people are creating around you. They're hiding in your own backyard. Well, hopefully not because that's a little creepy, but pay attention to the people around you like Steve says. You'll get to know some really neat people. And tune in next time for Creativity is Contagious with Kimbo Daniel. You yeah. can learn more on our website, www.kimbohemia.net. And Steve, do you have something else to say? And everyone I know has noticed your beautiful haircut. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.